and welcome back to the Python playlist. Um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is just launch back into our Python shell. Uh, this video, we're going to be going over some comparison operators and uh, maybe do some quick uh, uh, review on, on what we've covered so far uh, by giving a more thorough example. So the first thing that we're going to go over is uh, different ways to compare variables or digits. So uh, one thing we'll do. So if you if if you've programmed in another language, you're going to be using uh, 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 statements like if uh, if else or sorry else if uh, else all that sort of stuff, and you usually compare stuff like to check to see if it's true or false so that block of code will execute so we need to use comparison operators it's the same as in every other language but i'll just uh, outline it quickly in python so uh, a simple uh, way to start is to just show that one equals one and that gives you true so the first operator is the equals which is a double equals which is different from the singular equals um, the second one is not equals, so it's uh, uh, one does not equal one. That's false. Um, so what it'll it'll actually spit out the answer in a boolean sense, true or false, which is uh, which is good to um, to to see. Um, the next one we have is. Uh, one is greater than one that's false let's go uh three is greater than one true uh we see that we can do the opposite and have uh one is less than one that's false one is less than nine that's true so that's greater than less than and then we can combine those two and have uh, one is greater than or equal to one. That's true. Uh, one is greater than or equal. Sorry, let's do this. Nine is greater than or equal to 10. That's false. Uh, then we have our less than. Uh, so we can do a one is less than or equal to one. True. One is less than or equal to two. That's true. And four is less than or equal to two. False. So that just shows how um, these comparison operators work in, in Python. Um, it's the same as other languages, but as you can see in the shell, it'll spit out that you either get a true or false response. Um, so the next thing we'll do is just kind of do a uh, review on like variables, addition. Um, maybe we will save comparison operators for the if and else statements. Um, and from there we will uh, go over those like the conditional statements like we did in Java but for now we'll have let's revert back to our kind of hockey uh, example um, so we'll have uh, player one uh, let's say um, uh, we're, we're tallying goals um, so we'll have a line of players so five players so player one scored four goals Player two scored uh, five goals. Player three scored ten goals. Player four scored one. And player five scored two goals. So the first thing we can do is set another variable and we can total up how many goals the players scored. So we can do player, let's just do 
this video. So we have a total and we're going to set that and then we can just check total. So 22, uh, we can then take the total and divide it by five to see the average amount of goals. We can, um, see what percentage of, uh, of, of goals, uh, a certain player scored so player three divided by total oh we have to uh this is a good thing to review player three divided by float total so remember we're casting a data type onto this because it was an integer so it, it it was a zero prior to casting it um but when we when we cast uh, a float, it will um, give us the percentage. So that just equals 45%. Uh, uh, and one thing we can do for comparison operators is say, let's see here, player one greater than player two gives us false. So that's just a introduction into um, uh, the comparison operators. We'll use them quite a bit uh, and a uh, review on setting variables, adding them up, doing operations. Again, you can use multiplication, division, all that sort of stuff. But that'll be it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.